This month on Recall Roundup, Office Depot recalls office chairs, Ontel recalls isometric exercise devices, and Dyson recalls bladeless portable electric heaters. Office Depot is recalling about 1.4 million Gibson leather task chairs. The mounting plate weld can break and separate the seat from the base of the chair. That's a fall hazard for consumers. The chairs have SKU number 105479 on a label under the seats. Office Depot has received about 153 reports of the seat plate weld cracking or breaking, and that includes 25 reports of contusions, abrasions, and reports of injuries to the head, neck, and a fractured back and hip, which required medical attention. They were sold exclusively at Office Depot stores for about $40. Stop using these chairs and return them to any Office Depot store for a $55 store merchandise credit. Ontel Products is recalling about 170,000 of these ISO 7X isometric exercise devices. The device has hard plastic black handle grips on each end and two black nylon straps. This recall only involves the isometric exercise devices that have the black handle grips. There have been reports of the handles breaking and the ejection of the internal spring coil and rod, including five reports of impact injuries that resulted in punctures and lacerations. They sold for about $30. Stop using the recalled ISO 7X isometric exercise devices and contact Ontel for your money back. Dyson is recalling about 338,000 of these bladeless portable electric heaters. These heaters can develop an electrical short and overheat. And that's a fire hazard. This recall is for all Dyson hot heaters and Dyson hot plus cool heaters having model number AM04 and all Dyson hot plus cool heaters with model number AM05. Dyson is aware of 82 incidents of the recalled heaters short-circuiting and overheating, including four reports of heaters with burned or melted internal parts. No injuries or property damage have been reported. Stop using and unplug the recalled heaters and contact Dyson for a free repair. That is Recall Roundup. Check our website, www.cpsc.gov, for more information. We'll see you next month with the latest recall news. <laughs>